We've just left Melbourne around three days ago. Four days ago. At the minute, we're just in Bright, a little town in Victoria. We're going to be making our way up north for about one to two months in this little baby, our new home. We're going to be chasing the sun. It's a little bit cold at the moment, as you can tell. I'm in bobby hat, coat, fleece. This is how I've been sleeping, minus the coat. We've done a little bit of a van conversion. We've not done a full van conversion, but we basically stripped it down to the frame of the bed. We're going to show you the van conversion that Kelly's mainly done. I won't take much credit for it. I've just done like a few picking the curtains, hung a little picture up here and there, but we'll show you. We'll let you see for yourself. is a Mazda E2000 I think that's pretty bad that I don't know in it but Mazda E2000 I'm going with and I think it actually is a 2002 plate so it's about 17 18 years old and it's in pretty good nick so first of all let's start with the outside we've got a little bit of a green stripe going straight through the middle now this may not look like much but if you come a little bit closer Caitlin just come a little bit closer please you can just see here where we bought the van there was a few orange yellow aluminous paintings right down the middle and it was nice don't get me wrong i'm not going to slag anyone's artwork off there was obviously artists and uh, give it a good go but not to our tasting so we've just put a nice what do you call that color olive olive we could put a nice olive color down the side and also second of all on the outside when we inherited the van the wheels let's just say there was a little bit rusty so I'll, i'd like to say uh i borrowed some spray paint from work they kindly donated it and i uh, sprayed the full tires uh a gloss paint black and as you can see it came out quite well well in our opinion it has in comparison to when we bought the van so there we have it there's the outside of the van so let's take a look inside our new home We've got a couple of seats, another seat where you drive, as you all probably know about that. We've got a bit of a, a radio here, aux available, you can have your tunes on, get a bit louder. And then, yeah, we've got a steering wheel, obviously, no, you need one of them to drive the car, the van. And this, oh, let me, we've not got a name for him, should we name him, what's his name? <laughs> little Dicker. Yeah, we've kept him, we just like him. He brings a little bit of something to the front of the van. Well, there we go, there's the uh, front of the van. Over, I don't think there's anything else to show you. Get into the back and um, let's introduce you to Shaggy. I'm going to show you the inside of the van when I've got all my best parts, my curtains, my pit. He knows it's the best part, we'll show you. Here we have it, our little home for the next two months. All cosy inside. Uh, I'll start with my favourite part the curtains, our little hippie curtains. As you can see, made by myself. We've got it on the side, on the back, and just in the middle there, so no one can see you through when we're sleeping and we want some privacy. Blocks of light out, any peeping toms. And um, we bought two meters of fabric for twenty-four dollars, and just velcroed them onto the side of the wall. So they're had a good little buy. Love them. This side we've got. Um, some cork panels that we got for $13 for a pack of six at Bunnings, which is like a Australian B&Q type thing. We thought it matched the olive colour well, which we've done all throughout the van in here. Um, we've got a map that we actually kept. This was already in here in its little casing, still brand new. So we've stuck this on the wall. We love this. Um, stuck a few Polaroids up, little memories. Make sure we don't forget anyone while we're on the road. And then as you can see, we've got fairy lights going right down the sides, which are actually quite bright, battery powered. So we don't have to worry about plugging them in or anything like that. Just get some new batteries when they run out. And a shelf that Kelly made at work with my Yorkshire tea in and a few little bits and bobs and an extra lamp. And our lovely big cozy bed, which is actually very comfy. 
When we first got the van, the whole of the van was filled with the mattress, so you couldn't even stand in and walk. So what we've done is we've kept the mattress and we've actually shaved it off, which was a task alone. So we've cut the mattress, I don't know how much, no good with measurements, but we cut a fair bit off, about this much. And now we've got um, a little mattress that fits dead nice and we can stand up inside. So as Kate was saying, uh, on the curtains, we've just added a little bit of Velcro, so you can just wax on, wax off. We've just currently waxed off, so we can show you the inside. Well, the rest of the inside, I know Caitlin's showing you the inside already. Sorry, Kate. So, first of all, here we have it. We have a shelf that I've made. As you can see, it's not the greatest of uh, engineering, but it is what it is. I like the little bit of a rustic look. I like the fact that it's not all come together as perfection, but that's what it's all about. Anyway, uh, I'll give it a bit of a varnish. We may, yeah, whatever. We've got some recycled wood. And under here is a little bit of storage. We've got our books, some toiletries, coffee, cooler, teapot, and obviously our main ingredient, our gas stove. Without this, we'd probably starve. And uh, yeah, this here, this was used, this actually came, I know we've told a few lies here. We've only said we've inherited a couple of things, but we actually inherited this table as well. This table was out the back. We had the bed sat up about an inch and then from the back end the table came all the way out it was just too cold to be cooking outside in this sort of temperatures might be all right up north but for the time being anyway we've took that we chopped the wood put a bit of a profile on here just so it's sat in the corner and then if you undo that take that little bit of a nut off and there we have it we have a little bit of a cooking area or whatever you want to do you might want to go on your laptop you might want to we just normally use it for cooking and eating that's eating if you don't know <laughs> this is actually kate's more interior stuck these tiles on when i say kate actually i drove to work one day and kate had actually put these tiles on the night before and then i drove to work got to work and all these tiles is on the floor <laughs> so i do say kate kate chose the tiles i restuck them back on and then you put that back on there you stick the, the nut on and bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt Oh god, I've screwed it back off. I want to show you it again. It's that good. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say actually, we put it on some chain, just drilled an hole in there, stuck a bit of chain through, tie it underneath. There, we have it on there. And then a couple of hinges. If you want any more information on the table, uh, drop it in the comment section down below. I can give you a little bit more information on how I've done that. If any of you just want to do it in, on your van. So I'll put that nut back on there. And then the roof. The roof was, it? oh, the roof when we inherited the van, when we bought the van. I keep saying inherited, that sounds so bad. That sounds like someone's passed away and we've got the van up. Wow. That's not been the case, guys. We actually bought this van, just to clear that up. The roof was hanging, it wasn't hanging down when we bought it. We took a few of these things down, what we probably shouldn't have done. The actual framework of the van, yeah, we took them off. So if our van falls in half, <laughs> we know why. Hopefully it don't, but we know why if it does. Anyway, there was some insulation type things. I don't know what it was made out of polystyrene or something like that. So we took the polystyrene out, we took the framework out, and then this is just one sheet of wood. Simple guys, very simple. Just chopped a little bit off and literally me and my friend from work, we just lifted it up, made sure nothing was here and there, and we just slotted it in and it's actually fared pretty well. So we've gone for the wooden look, as you can see, we love the wooden look. The rug. We bought this for about $4 from, where is it, where is it called? Um, what's its face? Spotlight. Spotlight. If you're, Australian, if you're Australian, you obviously know what Spotlight is. If you're not Australian, well, Spotlight's just somewhere where you can get rugs for $4. <laughs> so we've got a rug for $4 there. The, obviously, this, this bit's not too great, not too shabby. Yeah. But it is what it is. It's came a long way since we bought a van and that's the main thing, guys. It's now livable for what we like, what we love, and we are very cold. I was about to say cold. That is true. We are cold in here at the moment because we've got no heat on. We've got no second battery and that is the problem. And we... the van heating also don't work even when the van's on. And also the fact that you've got a sleeping fleece and bobby hat, but soon that should change. Hopefully, fingers crossed when we get up north. And uh, I'll let Kate tell you about what's underneath the bed because that's a sort of scenario I think. Right, this is our storage section. Underneath, we've got our kitchen, our utensils. That's that. Just that. And then, 
we've got our clothes. We've both got one box each. We've got these for ten dollars from a Vietnamese shop somewhere in Melbourne. Um, very very good. You just pop the lid, pop the trunk, and won't shut. And we just slide them back underneath there. But mine usually needs a good whacking because it can't. We got too much stuff. Um, and we've got our food bags over here. We've just got two bags. One's a cooler bag, one's a normal bag. We usually use this as like our snack bag, breakfast bars, all that kind of stuff. Then the proper grub in there. Toiletry bag. And that is pretty much it. We'll show you the back. Get that bell cord down, girl. Just take the curtains down so you can have a better view of the back, or even when we do finally get to some sunshine, we can have this open, be chilling, relaxing, ain't too taxing. And essential, we only got this about three days into our trip, so we obviously want that essential. How much was it? Four dollars? Four dollars, I think, from Cole's water tank. Just fill that up when we can. Chairs. Um, which was with the van again more things with the van we got like a tent uh, camping chairs snorkeling gear ping pong um, we've got our little cleaning stuff little brush and pan our little pot of paint which is what we've done the stripe with the whole inside of the van about three times and that cost us $15 from Bunnings we keep all our trainers underneath here, it goes quite far back, well it goes all the way to the side door, so we put all our trainers underneath there. We've got reusable bags under here, rubbish, things like that. We've also got like a general bits and bobs type thing. Bunny. Everybody needs one of them, don't they? Yeah, everyone has bits and bobs, you can have bits and bobs drawn. Don't forget guys, this is our home, you all have in one of them cupboards at home. Mine used to be in my kitchen. Like bottom drawer, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Mean. Anyway, um, first aid kit, tools, that. That's what are them things one, called? T terry, Terry, what's it called? What's that? That one. Jerry can. Jerry, not Terry. <laughs> We've got a bit of a Terry can there. <laughs> if any of you are after a Terry can. <laughs> Jerry can there. We've even got a sunshine umbrella. No sunshine yet. And our bed, lovely bed as you can see. And that is pretty much it for the tour of our abode. That is the end of our van slash home tour. We've not only done this video to show you our van, but we've done it just to show you that a little bit can go a long way. We've spent no more than 200 Australian dollars, which is about 150 pounds on renovating the van and it's made a massive difference just a lick of paint bit of wood here and there and in our eyes it's changed it completely we hope you've enjoyed it and um, got all the information that you need prices if you've got any questions on what to do how to do it ask Hella. so i don't know i just did a bit of painting a bit of decorating and we hope you liked it please press that subscribe button press that like button do what you gotta do comment section down below if you want to know more about a van We'll see you in the next video.